I am back in London. Land of legends, kings, queens, and the best tennis tournament on earth. made it. <laughs> so you could just look cool for a little bit. I mean, I am cool, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the last time I was here was just down the Thames, you know, playing at the O2 Arena, celebrating, I think, my retirement. Uh, it was a beautiful moment in my, in my life, really. So this city is always going to be an emotional place for me to come back to. The victory here in 2001 against Sampras uh, at Wimbledon was super significant. Playing your hero on the most famous and probably for me the best court in the world in tennis, it's almost too much to, to handle at once. I think I was just still a teenager, I was 19 at the time. My first Wimbledon in 2003 was so significant. You know, I knew I could play attacking tennis, but I didn't trust myself yet at that point to win from the baseline against the best baseliners in the world. And I think that's when I got the ultimate confidence that I could beat almost anybody on any surface, almost at their own game. I'm so happy at looking back that I was able to handle that pressure of actually winning the finals against Filipusis. I was already half crying as I was going through the motions, lining up to serve. A lot of people thought, okay, that's so nice that you're sharing your emotions. Others saying like, oh men are not supposed to show uh, this uh, this softness to them and I'm like well honestly I'm actually happy I'm living it so emotionally because I know in my mind when I react like this it means the world to me and I will forever remember that moment. The great thing is that you know Sampras won seven Wimbledon, he won five in a row at one point, I won five in a row and same with Bjorn Borg so I feel like I'm in a very elite group with uh, my favorite players I love Bjorn, I love Pete and so to be part of that group is something I'm really really proud of. Starting my own foundation has been such a significant moment in my life. We're also celebrating the 20 year anniversary today like we are celebrating the 20 year anniversary for my first Wimbledon victory. So a lot to look forward to this year, a lot to celebrate. I was just thinking as we're going down the River Thames how obviously it's one of the greatest cities in the world. There is so much the city has to offer so I'll be the super tourist, the super fan of London. No engine is also nice. <laughs> yeah. Are we here yet? Let's go.